Hey guys, my name is Jasmine Rosette and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you can tell by the title of today's video, it is my everyday makeup routine. It's just gonna be what I do for my everyday face because I wanted to share that with you guys. Man, intros, they're hard, they're difficult. But anyways, before we get into the video, I would ask that you would subscribe to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. And give me a thumbs up if you like the fact that I'm doing a everyday makeup look type thing or a makeup video in general. <laughs> just let me know if you like it. Give it a thumbs up and also comment. Um, just say hi. I'll say hi back. I won't bite. You know? Anyways, without delaying this any further, let's get into the video. A lot of the products that I'm gonna be using on my face are cruelty-free. I am trying to transition to a lot of cruelty-free things. Right now I'm gonna use the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen as my primer and also sunscreen. I, I don't wanna buy primer and then use that sunscreen because it has like it feels like a primer anyway. And it also has SPF in it. Getting the best of both worlds. Let me bring you guys in just a little bit. Feels nice and smooth, a little tacky, which is good. Not too tacky, but a little bit. But yeah, not everything in my makeup bag is cruelty free. So I apologize, but I am trying to go cruelty free. That is the goal, but some things I've had in here for a really long time that I'm just like, I'm not gonna just get rid of that because it still has a lot of use. And I'm pretty minimal when it comes to the things that I own. So what's in my makeup bag is very small. It's not like a huge amount. I don't have like storage and storage of makeup. I'm just not that type of person. Like I only have one foundation at a time, which I've had this only for a month now. And it's the makeup uh, Milk Makeup Blur Liquid Foundation and it is the matte one in the shade tan or bronze, tan or bronze. So that is my shade. It works really well for me in warming my skin up because I like a more yellow undertone more than orange and this does that exactly for me. So gonna go in with my Real Techniques sponge. Gonna, I just put some on the back of my hand. I'm gonna just dot that all over my face. Excuse my edges, but I'm not really good at like slaying my wigs, you know? I'm looking at videos on how to like do it to help me. Cause I wanna have better, you know, I want it to be unclockable. I think that would be nice. And I'm getting better at taking care of my hair. It only took 26 years. <laughs> going on 27. And now I'm gonna go in with concealer. So I use the Smashbox, didn't even show you. It's the Studio Skin Flawless 24 Hour Concealer by Smashbox. And it is in the color Medium Warm. But this is too light for me. Like it's, it's just too, it's a, it's a tad bit light for your girl. I need water. Gotta stay hydrated out here in Colorado. Got my thermal flask, which Costco, by the way, has a two pack of these for like $13, $15. So I got the black one and then I gave my grandma the blue one. It's like a Snowy sky blue. No, baby pale blue. It's kind of like this color, but just paler, which I like. But anyways, I'm gonna use that Smashbox concealer with a little bit of my foundation. Just put that on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna use a little brush. I'm gonna use this like flat brush right here. I'm just gonna place it not super close to my eye because I have like creasing here. If I just like let this concealer sit a little bit, I notice I'm not putting like a ton of concealer on. 
I just, I'm putting only what I really need. My everyday makeup look needs to take not a lot of time because I just don't want to be fussed too much. And I'm taking it, yes, into the, ooh, almost got that in my eye, into the inner corners of my eye. And then I use the rest to go on my lids just to even everything out. So that's how that's looking. So while my concealer is just drying a little bit, getting a little tacky just to kind of build that coverage, I am going to do my eyebrows now. I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel in the color Ebony. It like, I'm sure it's Ebony. And then the ColourPop Brow Boss Pencil in dark brown. So I'm just going to brush up my eyebrows while my concealer is giving me that full coverage of life under my eyes because they are a little dark. I'm first going in with the brow pencil. I'm just going to put a nice little line under there to give some definition underneath. I'm not going in like heavy handed. And like my eyebrows are not like the cleanest thing ever. I kind of like the unruly look. I don't do them all the time. I kind of just shave underneath and let the tops kind of grow wild. Cause like no one's really like up here being like her, her brows girl. I mean, some people are, but you know, it's my preference. It's what I want to do. So I have a few gaps. So I really just kind of fill in the gaps. And I, like, there's already a shape there with my brows. So I kind of just leave the shape there. I don't go crazy. My brows do need a little bit of a trimming towards the end because they're just a little unruly. But I'm mainly trying to grow them out on the top because I feel like this is my perfect brow and this one is getting there. And then I go in with my Ebony tinted brow gel. Not at the very fronts, just at the ends. Then I go towards the front. Just because I found like with this, if I go like in the front immediately, a lot gets to the front. Because this has a lot of product on it. And for a mini, I'm really liking this. I like the minis. My friend Cub is the one who got me on the mini train because then you can just try a bunch of products you know so now that my brows are essentially done now I'm going to like blend out that concealer that we just had sitting there and my makeup routine takes me about like 15 minutes it does not take me that long to do the only reason why it's taking longer here is because I'm talking you through my everyday makeup routine and the products that I'm using. It's just bounce, bounce, bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. And then I bring it onto the lid. And I make that face that every girl makes. As though we think that's really helping, but you know. And I just like, I'm all about that blending. Because I feel like the more you blend, the better. Not blend until like it's gone. But yeah, that's looking really good and smooth. Do you see? What do you think? Is it looking really good and smooth? I'm thinking so. My skin looks really good. I really like it. I go in with my milk powder. Also, this is not sponsored by milk or anyone for that matter. I paid for all these products myself with my own money. Just an FYI. But yeah, I'm going in with the Milk Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting Powder in the color Translucent Medium. And it works good for me. I took off the little thing that comes with it because it just annoyed me. So that's a lot there, but I do the Jackie Ina thing and I put a lot on the back of my hand. And I just like press into my skin 
I don't do the whole baking thing anymore. I just press so that that like powder just dissolves. Then I'm gonna go back in with some more, press it on the back of my hand. And I do this all over my face. Especially that forehead. Because it gets shiny. So my face is like powdered. You can kind of see a little bit of that powder. See it? See it? I still have a bit on my hand making me look ashy. I think I also got some in my eye. And I also concentrate on my mouth area. I, I have, I laugh quite a bit. So I find setting that area is, is really good. All right, I'm done with the powder. I'm, I'm done. Now, while that's like dissolving into my face, ooh, I'm gonna go in with my Lancome uh, Dual Finish Versatile Powder Makeup Foundation Powder thing, press powder. I've had this for a long time and it's in the shade 560 Suede C. So, you guys can see that right there. I'm just going in with the, I have Real Techniques brushes and then these brushes, I forgot who, oh yeah, it says right here. They're the La, La Beauté Soy, S-O-I, So. But they're like completely ethical and sustainably made and they're fair trade, which I love. So I'm gonna start using those brushes. I got those as a gift from my friend Mel. While my powder is just like baking slash really just melting into my skin because I don't put like a lot on there. I'm just gonna go in with my Real Techniques brush. It's a multitask brush. So I'm just gonna go in and then I'm gonna go under where my cheek is. Kind of define that like a little she shape. A little C shape is what I'm doing. But you can kind of see already, like it's giving me, like here, it's more, I mean, it's not like crazy because I don't like to go crazy. I'm trying to hug my cheeks, basically. And then I go in with another brush by Real Techniques. It's the setting brush. And I go in again with my little bronzer contour thing. And I just like swipe it. And I go right into this pocket and then whoosh. Same thing on the other side. And you see it just like gives more definition here. Cause if I didn't do that, I feel like you couldn't really tell that I have a nose. <laughs> Cause my nose bridge is not really that defined. It's pretty flat. But with makeup, you can just make it known that it, your nose doesn't like blend into your face. Cause I feel like what you can really see on my face is just like the button part like this part of my nose. You can't really see the definition of my bridge, which I'm like, I just, I need a little concentration there. And yeah, I don't try to make my nose skinnier. I just go with like the bone that's here. I just go against it type of thing. And I just go in with what's left on the outer corners. Make everything a little bit more sink. See, it's coming together. It's looking good. And now, I have a lot of Real Techniques brushes, by the way. I'm gonna go in with the 300. I've had this Real Techniques brush for a while. 
it's pretty old brush, but like it has like this, you know, little domey shape, which I like. I'm going to use the MAC Love Joy Mineralized Blush. Yeah, I've like hit pan a little bit, but I've had this blush for a long time and it does me well. And I like to just like go on the top, like my apples right here, or right here, but I kind of go on top of that and I just bring it. So it kind of really blends in with like my brush, my what? It blends in with my um, bronzer contour shade. And I just bring it all the way back. And I feel like with this blush on my skin tone, it's very hard to go overboard. And also like blush I find just disappears so quickly. So you could go a little bit overboard and still be fine. But yeah, it doesn't look crazy. It looks kind of just like melted into the skin. I'm not gonna go in with my Becca highlighter. I have definitely hit pan on this, as you can see, but there's still a lot on like the outer rings. And again, I'm using another Real Techniques brush. It's a little fan brush. It's like, you can't even tell what it is, but I kind of just swoosh. And I go in at the top point. I don't really bring it down. On my nose, do another little swirl on my cupid's bow, and then I go underneath on my brow bone, the full face. And you can kind of see like the setting powder and everything is just really melted into my skin. Looking like so far, that's my skin. You can see the blush, you can see a little bit of the highlight. I don't go crazy on highlight. Um, See it on my nose, my cupid's bow. And yeah. So, and then my eyebrows, obviously done. I like that kind of bushy look for the eyebrows. I think it's, you know, more natural. And then I'm gonna go in with my Bosha White Charcoal Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray. As you can see, I've gone through it. But they are clean, but apparently they are not cruelty free. So, as I said, I've had this for a while, so I will be switching. And you have, I will say, you have to shake this, because if you don't, you get white splotches all over your face. So if you don't shake, you get those white splotches. And now I look like this. Just kidding. I like to use a little fan to like help dry my setting spray on my face. It is extra, but it really helps like, you can already see, it's going down. So I don't like to touch it. Ah, I'm a single latest, ah, I'm a single latest. Okay, it feels dry. And now, the final bit, which is the mascara. And I am using the NYX On The Rise Volume Mascara. Oh, and this is what the brush looks like, just so you guys can see. I like using a plastic applicator. I find it gives me the best volume. And whereas like a brush, I feel like, like the other applicators just, it flakes too much. Yeah, I feel like the plastic applicators I don't experience a lot of flaking all over my face because I get really annoyed by that. And with plastic applicators, I find like it's not as clumpy for me personally, so I prefer a plastic applicator. I kind of just, I like have the brush like hugging my lash and then I just blink on the, on the applicator, the mascara brush. I've only had this mascara for like a couple months. I do like it. It's not bad. And it's drugstore. It's very, it's very affordable. Um, it gives pretty good volume. I also have really long eyelashes anyway. I like my eyelashes to look thick, but I don't like that clumpy look. 
it gives pretty good volume. And then I don't go in heavy on the bottom. I do like bottom mascara. I know some people don't. I, <laughs> this face again, I personally do. Now for the lips. I personally like a gloss. I used to hate gloss because I found that my lips just looked really big and I have big lips anyway, but now I love it. So I'm going to go in with the MAC lip pencil in chestnut and I'm just going to line my lips. I don't really overline because I don't personally like that look on myself. I just started accepting my big lips, you know what I mean? Big lip gang. I kind of underline on the bottom to be, cause you can kind of see, I like underline a little bit on the bottom and then, and I stick with my shape. I don't like try to create a new shape. I'm just not there yet. And I just go in a little bit thicker on the top. Kind of blend in that lip liner. And then I go in with my Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Gloss Bomb. Really nice. Oof. That smells so good. And I'm running out of this stuff. I will never not use the Fenty glosses. So yeah, this is the finished look. This is how I do my everyday makeup look. It's not that hard. I use a few products. I don't go crazy. And yeah, it's a very easy, simple, I would say even semi-natural look and it's appropriate for work. I mean, the gloss, I will say, your hair sticks to it. <laughs> Should not have done that. But your hair does stick to it, um, unfortunately. But I, I do like the gloss. I like the, the look of the gloss, and I think this shade is awesome. It is a great shade. And yeah, this is how I achieve my everyday makeup look. So if you enjoyed any part of the video, I would ask that you give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite part was. And if you have suggestions for cruelty-free products, that I've used because I'm not gonna stop using the ones that I have because as I said, I'm a minimalist when it comes to my makeup collection. Collection, I don't have a lot. I just replace it as soon as it's done. And so the things that are not cruelty-free, I will replace with cruelty-free products going forward. And also everything I purchased myself with my own money. So none of this was sponsored, none of this was paid. No one sent me anything. I bought this all on my own accord as my choice. So. Yeah, if you liked any part of this video, please do give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe to your girl. Subscribe to your favorite girl on the internet, okay? That, that is me, Jasmine Rosette, <laughs> coming through with an everyday makeup look. <laughs> if I do say so myself. I really like how it came out, it looks really good. And I'm, I'm working on not looking at the viewfinder, I just wanna make sure that I'm in focus type of thing, so I'm getting better at it. I'm sorry, I know, I'm getting better, but yeah. Don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Please, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. Ooh, girl, these lashes. Look at them lashes, honey. Look at them. Crazy. Ugh, I am starving. It's like 12 o'clock. I need to eat food. I really just want Matilda cake. I'm probably gonna go get that. I just want all the sweets. A burrito sounds so good. Yeah. I'm not sure of what I see, Cupid, don't me are you telling me to 
This is a sign 